Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Neil and Arn. We're once again in Red Dead Redemption. So, when we last left off, we've been slowly working on West Nigel's quest. Let's go. And we're going to continue to do so. So, let's uh, sit over this way. Oh. There we go. We got ourselves a kitty cat. He was really coming by a little bit too close to me. So we'll, we'll take him out of this pelt. Might be able to sell that later. Last still. <laughs> there we go. There's some selling stuff for later. There's a lot of cougars in this area, it looks like. Up there. Okay, let's continue moving on. Five a.m. to ten p.m. Oh, geez, is it too late? Let's uh, let's do a little camping. Get daytime here. Save ourselves off here. And is it daytime? Yes, it is. Okay, now we'll go back out to West Nod. Go. Oh, good, sir. I'll talk to you in a second. One second. What do you got back here hidden? Anything good back here? Oh, you got a little chest. What are you, what are you holding out on me with? Let's see. Look at that. Fourteen dollars. Thank you, good sir. That was all the pain and misery the last sir, time he caused me. You. My wife has been abducted and we must rescue her. Right on. Okay, he wants us to Let's rescue. Go. go do this real quick. We'll probably fail to save him. Come on. That was close. Didn't save her. That's Sorry, the hard man. part is getting her saved. I've never been able to get up to that rope quick enough. What can I say, partner? I will get some ammunition and Okay, let's go back to West Niles. We're, we're done yeah. dealing with this stuff. Always got to try, but I, I don't know if you got to just keep him safe or rescue her before she strangles to death, but I've never been able to do it. Hello, sir. Whoa, hold on a second, man. Warn a guy before you're going to do that. Come on, hurry up. Okay, you done, shorty? Hey, 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 hey. Stop. We got to go over here for the quest. Okay. Not talk to him. There we go. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! 
How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John! It's not too far to Ratskeller Park! Come on, horse. Head over here. We gotta follow him. Come on! So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. If you're such a successful <laughs> businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightfully Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Breach, Plain View. We make quite a team. Plain You should consider a more permanent view. <laughs> Partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. Yeah, yeah, that's what you keep saying. There it is, John! Rathskeller Fork! Line up at a start position hey somewhere. Okay, Let's it's go. over this way. My cousin's horse is racing. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his way or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Come on. Make sure I don't, uh... This one's mine! Put some stamina back on my horse. There we go. Now we just keep this pace. Yeah. And we should be golden. It's not like a NASCAR where all of a sudden they sing shot up next to you. That's one thing I always hate with a lot of racing games. To keep it competitive, they have it uh, rigged so either you singed up, shot 
back or the car seen shot forward or and if they get too far ahead of you they lose momentum Come on. it's always crazy I understand it's hard to do good uh, driving physics for AI drivers but as good as AI is getting nowadays you think they'd be able to do that better still keep it competitive not make it so it's nearly impossible to beat the AI drivers but not resort to slingshot maneuvers that basically no matter what you do they're going to stay with you even if you should be a lap ahead of them because you're just better than what you're playing against you want harder drivers that are harder to get a near raise the difficulty up don't make it so easy mode they sing shot and are better drivers than you are all of a sudden then they suck again they're, they're bad they're bad don't don't mess with them so it's not doing too bad they're they're staying about the same distance and when I let off doing my button run, they catch up, normal speed, not slingshotting, so I like that. Go. We're about to this finish line. This is going to need a break after this run. Piece of cake. He saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunco, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? Okay. So now we got to uh there's a question mark guy over here. Let's see what he has to say. What's the matter? Wipe those tears. Hey, partner, I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jeff's heart and they, they took her away. What what are you talking they about, friend? They took my love. They took Jeff's love by them gangsters. They hide out of tumbleweed. Can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? <sighs> I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> Just a horse. I know it's a pain, but don't break down completely from it. So where is Tumbleweed from here? Boyd's over here. I oh, gotta go up here and talk to California anyway, so we'll we'll start out with that. How do you do? Hey, doggy. How you doing? Let's go. That's right. I gotta go check out California real quick.
dry open airy dust load of a land. I don't know if I could do that on a regular basis. I'd miss all the nice green trees and everything. What are you doing up here, buddy? Come on. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sam, we meet again. How you doing out here? Just why the shout? Why the dancing? Why the laughter? I, I hope I, I die laughing. I do. You keep this up, and you just might. My, my, my grandfather was was a wise man who came from the east. He, he, he followed, a, followed a star. That, that's still me. I'm still following. Still dreaming. Still free. <laughs> you can't. You can't cage us. We are above. We 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 are above. And 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 we're. Free. You need to leave that wacky weed alone. Sam, you really need to come into town with me. You're not doing so well out no, here. No, no, no. See, I was careless, sir. I, I understand that now, but I, I, I will. I will find me my paradise. I will head west. I will. Come on, Sam. Probably just need a drink. You, you stay whoa, away whoa. from me. You whoa. stay away. I will find me my California. I, I, I will. Yeah. We'll probably find him again, yep. Because he's an idiot. Our other place should be right up ahead here. Let's go! Figure out how to get up there. Should be able to come up this way. And across the bridge. Yeah. Back to this bandit town area. yet up ahead what do you want yeah such a sweet sugar what you doing here mister I've come for you a mercy mission your poor wretch of a man lost his mind Seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Lawman shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave themselves medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh my, oh my. <laughs> this is Lucy. This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Oh. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna <laughs> made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> Well, come on, man. All right, follow me. Let's go. <laughs> See, it's back up this way, isn't it? Yeah, right up here. You should have seen the look on your face, mister. I bet you thought you was being a real hero. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? No, miss. I was just helping him out. Well, ain't you the sweetest thing? I'm just like you. A real sweetheart. I gotta ask, mister. Did Jeb strike you as 
being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. <laughs> he got you good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. I say close hey, enough. Lucy, you excited to go back to your special man? Miss, are you speaking of that horse? <laughs> well, Jeb sees something in her, doesn't he? You think he's gonna have flowers waiting for her? There's some things I'd rather not think about. <laughs> Mister, I gotta thank you. I'm gonna remember this one for a long time. Yeah! Mister! Mister, you found her, mister! Oh, I found her, all right. Come here, girl. Come to daddy. Oh, you're so beautiful. I'm so strong, yet such a lady. I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. Okay. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> that is wrong. That is just wrong. Okay. Let's see here. Where do we have to go next? Let me go over here to Seth and Armadillo. Oh, we got a funny man over here. Oh. So let's go to Armadillo. Before I do that, let me check something. We could go to here first. Get the funny man out of the way. So let's uh, do a campsite. I'll go to the farm and ride back out to him. Travel. I can travel right to the waypoint. Well, let's do that. That's even easier. I didn't know you could do travel to waypoint. That's kind of nice. down to here whoa 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 oh. that's not what I want to have happen and I lost my horse here that's not good but we'll take a piece of them with us I'm gonna have to get me a new horse before I can go through lost black beauty here Okay, well, run down this way. I might have to be looking for me a new horse. I can't even whistle one up. Not yet. Sport, you are a true American hero. Right. What are you doing down here? What? 
Just thought I'd see a, a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Hey, uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. Are you still here for any reason other than my bristling charisma? There we go. Now we got a horse again. Or yellow horse. Come on. Okay. Get out of this valley here. We we're supposed to fight them to get. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like the high ground. Anybody else? I think that's everybody. Let's go down and take a loot. Yeah Up there, somebody. Help her. What can I say, partner? Oh, buddy. There we go. Faster! Give me a black horse again. Brownish, actually, but. Let's see what the best way out of here is. So I wanted to come back here. Okay, now we're out. Yeah. I was like, it wants me to kill all those bandits first. See if I can go and camp out here now. There we go. Okay, well, I think that uh, gets us our full 30 in. We got a little bit more of the quest line done. We're going to do Seth on the next one. So, like always, I hope you had a good time. If you did, give me a like button. If you're new to the channel, give me a subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.